you guys need any cards, packs, sleeves, anything of that nature, shop on TCG Player using my affiliate link in the description. What's good, YouTube? Other night I was hanging out in Keegan's stream. He was looking at some really old deck lists, and he found this kind of like chaos, like pure chaos thing using the Dim Alks and the Faders and the Kaias. Kind of like old uh, Salvo decks would do this, but it was just sort of like a pure version of that. I don't remember what the exact list was, but it's always like an engine that I've found really cool. So I've been looking at new ways to potentially implement it. And um, obviously a lot of them are kind of tangential. Uh, a lot of the ideas in here, at least uh, to Chaos Fairy, because uh, that's the deck that I built that really uses that, I think to the absolute maximum. But this is kind of like a, a whole different version Sort of, what if we took Chaos Fairy and just, like, <laughs> took out the Christian and the Orange Light? Which, I mean, yeah, it definitely sounds dumb because Christian and Orange Light are, like, crazy powerful cards. But I just wanted to see if I could make, like, some pure Chaos, like, toolbox pile that used Sphere and Chaos and Master because I think they're very cool cards. Um, and this is kind of the route that I ended up going with. Uh, so we are, we are holding on to some of the Fairy stuff. Obviously, Honest, very good. Um, Angel, which lets you get Dim Alk and Warrior Lady and Cyber Valley still. And, of course, you can get into Honest. You can also get into Chaos End Master, um, which is like the sort of technology in here. Chaos End Master plus Sphere. So the Chaos End Ma Master is just hyper search searchable ugh, with the Rota, with the Sphere, with the Shining Angel. So we just play one. I'm on like two Spheres just to be sure you always have one in deck. Uh, Rota can get like Warrior Lady or Chaos and Master. It's a little bit fragile here with our some of our searching engines, but it's kind of what I had to do to fit everything in here. Um, so essentially, Chaos and Master, just when it destroys a monster by battle, it can summon a level 5 with 16 or less, so Sphere fits that. Um, and Sphere, when it summons, searches a level 3 from your deck. So Sphere can search Chaos and Master. It can also search Sangan or Card Trooper, um, which are just like solid level three monsters and then like it can't be destroyed by battle once per turn or something it's a dark and a light or something it's a light when it's on the field so you can use it with honest it's a dark when it's in your hand so you can use it with a lore or when it's in your grave so you can use it for sork the one kind of regret i have about this build is that i wish i could find a way to fit dad in um, i almost think maybe you could play a build with like i don't know this sounds really bad though you could play like the Gravekeeper engine, or you could play like Plague or something. I, I'm not really sure. There might be a way to make a version that plays Dad. Maybe you could build like a, a version with Rikos and and whatnot that like mills more, and maybe that could play Dad. I'm not really sure. I didn't I didn't look too deep into that. I kind of just wanted to play this Sphere build. Uh, the Faders are nice. They give you more ways to summon Spheres, which is why we've gone up to three of them. But yeah, this is the build. It's kind of just like Chaos Control stuff, I guess. Um, obviously I would say Chaos Fairy is just strictly better, but we're just, we're just experimenting here today, so it's fine. All right, let's look at some replays now. Um, first, I think this was against the Dragon player. So I played against a guy who was just like net decking fits or something. Whoa. Whoa, what? Yo, I didn't even, I never saw this card in the match. I never saw it, not even once. I mean, it's so bad, right? But... I guess the thought process behind it is if you resolve the few few, then you can put back the five headed to summon five monsters from your grave. I think that's how it works. The question is, does it work that way if the materials leave the graveyard? Like if you few few, and then you bring back red met? Because I don't think that would work. I I don't think that would work. Um, doesn't seem like that would work at all. Does it have to summon all of them? I think it has to summon all of them. So, like, you just have to future fusion and then just, like, not revive stuff. And then wait two turns and then resolve the fusion. I mean, that seems really bad. But otherwise, there's just, like, a, a Fitz, Raiko, Hamster, Snowman Eater, Dragon build. That was mostly what I saw. Like, I saw a lot of this stuff. I just never <laughs> didn't realize they were on this tech here. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, we go for the mind control play. Pretty obvious. Um... All the set monsters like flips that do something in this deck. So we get a Raikou, we snipe their back row, and they definitely get hard punished for setting the back row behind the Raikou, which means we get to resolve Raikou, kill a free card, and then I figure we're not really getting value out of this valley, so I want to use it now, and then just like pretend I've got a Gore's Trag, Fader, or whatever. Um, they don't do anything here. They could have attacked directly, but they're playing around Gore's, which is probably smart. Uh, we summon the Alk, and we're feeling pretty good here with the two Honest backing it up. 
this road is actually dead. Like the warrior lady, the warrior lady's vanished and the, the chaos ambassador is gone. So I'm like, I'm just going to set this thing. And then if the opponent has like spell trap removal, hopefully they'll be dumb and use it right away. And then if I top deck an actual piece of defense later, they won't have their spell trap removal. And that ends up like playing out exactly the way I planned. Um, so they Typhoon the Roto, which is to them just like trading a real card for my fake card. Uh, they go AFD to, AFD to defend. Um, and then here's the real back row I was talking about. We top deck Torrential Tribute. Very spooky. Um, so I think we use both Dim Alks. We just got like a big Banish pile now. Very ideal. We want to just have this huge toolbox that the Dim Alks can access. Um, now, I th assume they do this because the other back row is Torrential. So I just never play into Torrential, I think, um, for the rest of the duel. Uh, obviously, if it was a mirror, they probably would have done it start a battle phase or something. And yeah, they, they're they just bricked. They're actually just bricked. Did they not have that gores before? Shouldn't they have tried to resolve the gores? I'm not really sure. Game two, they actually opened the future fusion defusion combo. Whoa, wait. This is super weird because I there was a time in this game when they could have defusioned, I think. But they just didn't. Man, I'm just like... <laughs> Oh, this is so weird watching this in reverse. But yeah, like they don't send any, they don't send any wyverns, and I'm like, why the hell didn't you send wyvern? But now I guess it's because they wanted to resolve defusion. Um, but I was hoping they would, so that they could revive double red men, so that I could go like e virus, you know, hit over some in the valley, um, or e virus crash. Uh, obviously, we bring this in because it's a three, so we play just each of them in the side since spears can search them. Uh, here I decided to just like force this out. Hopefully it's a Raikou or a Snowman. If it's Hamster, that's like, eh. But um, we don't really want to set this Torrential till the future fusion's about to resolve, which I end up doing. And then I think we just go for Lore. We summon Sphere. We get a Sphere Search. I go for Card Trooper. It's the best card to play into like all the annoying set monsters. And then I decided just to pass. Uh, I think... Yeah, here's where I just torrential the Five Head. They could have defusioned, but then everything they brought back would just die anyway. So, is there a way they could, like, priority defusion to try and bring back all this stuff? But then, like, the Torrential just gets chained and the Prime Met misses the timing. No, 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 that, that would actually... No, I think that would work. If they just, like, player priority defusioned, maybe... Or is that not how that works? No, I think they could do that. I think that's a legit play. They could have just like activated defusion straight away. That might have worked. But in, in any case, I end up torrentialing. And then they don't defusion because it wouldn't do anything. Um, <laughs> that being said, they should probably have just sent wyverns. I mean, I would have outed it, but like this weird defusion thing, I'm just not sure. We dropped the Trag. Super unfortunate the top deck was a Caius, and we could have used that to snatch steal the Iron Chain Dragon. So now we just play into the back row. Ends up being Mirror Force. We go main two, summon Dim Alk, banish. Um, pretty obvious that we have another Honest here. Is this another Honest? No, no, no. This is the first Honest. I'm thinking about last game when I had double Honest. So we've been drawing Honest a lot. Anyway, we're just beating in with the with the little uh, the floater guys. And we get hit over by a Wyvern, which they are playing. I think we just banish this with DD Warrior Lady. And here I forgot to... No, I just switched the Dim Alk into defense. Okay. So now we switch it to attack. It's pretty obvious they have Gores at this point, but I feel like we're just fine. Like, the only way we're realistically losing is to, like... Debris... No, wait. They don't have any red meds in their deck. There's just no way we lose then. Like, they need a red med play. For sure. Like, that's just... That's the only way we're losing. So we get back the Sork here. Very nice. We go end phase Typhoon, hit a random one. I think we hit the Dust Tornado, which is not what we wanted. We wanted to hit the D Prison, but that's fine. We're cool with it getting used on a Cyber Dragon. Man, I gotta say, the theme across all these games um, that, I, that I'm going over today is just how like ineffectual of a card D Prison is. Like You would think it wouldn't be bad against this deck because it just like outs all the floaters and recruiters. But the card is just so inherently lame that it like doesn't even matter it's it's just like never a problem so we do drop the uh we drop the sork in main two like there's just never a time when i'm when i'm scared of oh no what if this monster gets deep prison what will i do then it's just like whatever one for one we're fine with that um so we search the dim elk off of the sangan because we can crash into the token add something back we need to do that 
and they don't do anything further this turn. They could have gone debris into AFD, but it would have just gotten banished, I guess. They could have gone debris into AFD to hit over the Sork, though. And I'm not sure why they didn't. But we just have lethal with this top deck, honest. So I figure we should go for it. This one's probably a, a Judgment or a Starlight Road or something, because they set three. And uh, yeah, it was a Starlight Road. So we're just able to win the duel right there and then. All right, next match. Uh, what was this against? This was against, like, some weird thing I couldn't even freaking identify. God, the, the DB randos were playing jank today. I do apologize for that. Okay, apparently it's some kind of counter fairy thing. I don't even think I saw this Bountiful Artemis. I keep seeing my opponents draw cards in the replay. I don't even know what they are. I don't even know what, well, like, I didn't even know they had them. So they have, like... Uh, this build was so weird. I couldn't figure out what was going on with this deck, for real. They were playing, like, Armageddon Knight and Dark Smorg. I was just like, what the hell is this? So they hit Sangan and the Angel. I'm like, okay. Okay, we get DD Warrior Lady then. Um, we try to hit over the Sangan. And, oh no, D-Prison. It's so scary. What? <laughs> Meanwhile, all our monsters are just getting D-Prisoned while I have this return from the different dimension in my hand. And I'm like, yeah, okay. And Vandalgian, another card that just never got used. Um... So they go, what is this? Like, they kept milling this, and I don't know why. God, this this person's deck that just perplexes me. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, some days you just run into people like this, and, um, you know, I would love to sit here and record 10 matches until I find serious opponents, but I just don't have time for that, so I do apologize. Um, opponent Tribute summons Dark Samorg, and then they search, like, what did they search? It was something. It was Morphing Jar to, like, reset the hands, I guess, since they used that Reckless, and now they're technically kind of neg one. Um, so they hit in, but I, none of this matters because we're just winning next turn with Return from the Different Dimension, which they set up by deprisoning two of my monsters. Um, so, yeah, obviously, we just have game. We can Kais the back row, and then we can go for, like, a double honest uh, thing here, which uh, it's a rare situation where Kais the back row was... <laughs> Extremely based and correct because it was Dark Illusion, which would have actually negated my Caius, hilariously. Um, but yeah, we return, we go for Double Honest, so that's just like 41 from the Shining Angel, and then this is way over game. Um, so that's going to be the end of that duel. God, I, I just can't even figure out what the plan is with this opponent's deck, actually. It's like, weird counter, for, like, why are you playing Armageddon Knight? Do you even play wins for the Samorg? I don't think I ever saw a win for the Samorg. I don't know. I'm just more confused than anything. I, I need to see the whole list or something to try and figure it out. But yeah, we hit him with Card Trooper. Oh no, Deep Prison. So scary. The Card Trooper got banished. Wah. Um, They set more. I think we space... Oh, we do hit the Deep Prison with the space. That's not bad. So now we go in for that Chaos Endmaster. Uh, the Chaos Endmaster is going to get us a level 8 Synchro, which is pretty nice. We're going to get the Sphere... Beat in with the Spear. Main Phase 2, I think we make Stardust. Because we just have the Call, we can bring back the Chaos Endmaster with the Honest behind it. And then potentially get another Sphere out of our deck. Maybe make another Synchro. So very good. And the opponent just sets everything. They actually Judgment the Summon of the DD Warrior Lady. And then we call this back. I actually don't attack with Stardust, which... Maybe I should have, because two Deep Prisons are gone. I just felt like there's no way we were losing with the Stardust on this field, maybe. Um, that kind of makes sense. It's just, we, we have these back row, and we really want to protect our call and our bottomless. And then we all draw judgment on top of that. We have this honest, so there's like no way we lose. Um, the opponent just draws into a second dark illusion with their Ventalkian, and they lose the duel right then and there. They're some weird-ass build. Like, I thought the other deck was just like Fitz Dragons, but apparently there was this defusion tech I didn't even know about the whole time I was playing against it. But this, I had no clue what it was, even when I was uh playing against it like they're just summoning armageddon knight and sending these high level dark monsters i'm just not really sure i guess the plan is to use dark illusion to protect the dark monsters and then use like vandalgan and bountiful artemis to plus off of that but i don't know how you're supposed to set it up is the thing whatever you know what that is that's just how it is sometimes that's edison format versus db randos um people be playing some weird stuff and i absolutely have no right to accuse anyone of that because i do it all the time uh, literally, it's like the whole point of my channel. So very much, I'm a hypocrite. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments section. I'll see you next time. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.